G'day everyone, in this video here we're going to be looking at transformations of logarithmic functions. So here I've just got a bit of a summary of all the different uh, translations, transformations, um, reflections, all that kind of stuff that can happen to logarithm functions and it's really important to understand these and it's always really good to have a visualization representation of this so you can either do it on your CAS, uh, find something online, those kinds of things. So here's one, so hopefully you can see uh, a few of the different uh, transformations that do happen you can pause it here or look up your own online and we'll go through it so here we've got two here uh, sketch the graph of the following uh, give the maximal domain so domains the x values and the equation of the asymptote and axis intersect uh, intercepts so with this we'll get into our first one here first We've got log 2x plus 3. The only really main transformation that has happened to this is that this plus 3, this is our x-axis asymptote, or our x-asymptote moving left. Because remember, it always goes in the opposite direction. So it goes to the left, 3. So just drawing this on our graph, so it goes 1, 2, three that means our x asymptote has moved to here and we call this x is equal to negative three and now our normal logarithm functions go through zero and one when a dilation hasn't occurred a dilation hasn't happened to this so it normally goes away one from our our asymptote so this one's still the case so this one will go away one from our asymptote which is here our question doesn't ask for a y-intercept. Oh no, and it does ask for axis-intercept. So just remember, axis-intercepts, so the y-intercept, that's when x is equal to 0. So this is actually going to be equal to log 2, 3. Okay, so just be aware, you don't have to put a number on it. You can just leave it as log 2, 3 when x is equal to 0. So, oh, sorry about that. Hopefully I get this done in time. So, to draw this up, try and do this. Make sure you don't touch your asymptote. Okay. Big no-no. Uh, comes through here. Yet again, just label it accurately. Uh, so, this here is log two three um that's not the best one i've got my asymptote here i've got my intercept here i need my x intercept so that's down here uh normally it goes through z uh zero one so this one here will go through sorry one zero negative two zero Okay, just one away from our asymptote. And our domain, so that's all the x values it can take on. So our asymptote's at negative 3, so it goes all the way up to negative 3, but doesn't touch it, so that's why we have that. And it keeps on going all the way to infinity. Okay, and we don't have a, a, a square bracket on that either, because infinity isn't actually a number. So that's how we do this one. So... In our second one, we've got, uh, we don't have any transformations, so it's not going up, down, left, or across, sorry, translations, I should say. We do have transformations, and this is the x over 3. So this is a dilation, so this is our dilation, and if you go into it, so if this was 2x, this would make it 0.5 away from our asymptote, but when it's x over 3, this makes it get essentially wider. So this actually makes it go in, uh, to uh, 3 away from our asymptote here. So this one's going to be 3 away from our asymptote. Our asymptote hasn't moved, so our asymptote's actually just x is equal to 0. That's our asymptote. So we've got our graph here, and it will go through... 0, 3 and 0, and it'll keep going like that. Yet again, with sketching, it doesn't need to be perfect, just, just make sure that your intercepts and the important points are all in the correct spot, okay? So, with this, just make sure that you do 
label everything, so your asthmatope and this, and actually write your domain, which I haven't for this one. So the domain of x values here doesn't touch zero and it keeps going all the way to infinity. Okay, so just make sure that you write your asthmatope, your intercepts, okay, and then your domain. All right. And it's always handy just to have a bit of a look at how these transform, uh, transform when you get into it. So write a few different examples on your calculator, look up a few. Um, Desmos is really good for this as well. So hopefully this helps and good luck.